So hello everyone, welcome to Yarpedia Education. So today I am going to discuss with you people one question here, which is from the descriptive exam of this profile examiner for patent and design. So guys, this question is from the analog electronics and it's related to BJT analysis. See, I have told you many times when you are writing the conventional paper, the very first thing is don't skip the step write step by step even a small step you need to include and write in the clear and proper neat and clean way so basically if we see this problem this is a bjt biased with some supply voltage and the question given is determine rb for emitter current 1 milli amperes silicon transistor and beta is 99 so this was the question asked and you need to calculate this RB value so that this circuit is biased at emitter current of 1 milliampere. So see listen guys, I have told you in classes also, you know BJT operate in multiple region. BJT can operate in the forward active mode. It can work in the saturation mode or it can work in the, you know, cutoff mode and it can work in the reverse active mode so first of all you must know or inverse active mode the different working operating region of the bjt see the relation of bjt are not equally applicable in the working mode different working mode so guys most of the electronic circuit if directly you are not in position to visualize this circuit is working in which mode there is a fundamental golden rule of analog electronics, be it BJT, be it diode, be it operational amplifier, be it FET. The very first rule is guys, you need to assume one reason. Assume operation in one reason. Assume operation in one reason. Assume operation of device in one reason. And it will be better if you assume in the region where the calculations are quite easier. So I always suggest student, if you had the BJT problem, assume itself in the active region and then under this assumption, calculate the result. Under this assumption, calculate the node voltages and current. Calculate under this condition, node voltages and current. Right? This all we are doing under the assumption. And third thing, you need to verify this assumption. You need to verify this assumption if your this assumption is verified it means these are your true answer if by default or by any means you calculated the value and the assumption is not verified with those value then you need to assume the other state of the device so these are some golden rule of the analog electronics applicable for mosfet applicable for op amp applicable for diode especially when you are not in position to tell by looking at the circuit this is operating in which mode so guys here question is the emitter current is given 1 milliampere. It's clearly mentioned it is 1 milliampere given. So before starting the solution, let me write on some important relation of the BJT. Emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current, right? So you also know the relation. Collector current can be written in term of, you know, base current beta IB. And it means if you put it here, IE can be written in term of beta plus 1 and then I can say IB. So these are some fundamental relation. And since this is a silicon transistor, if this is a silicon transistor, unless or until not mentioned, you can take the on voltage at a 0.7 volt, typical value. If it's a germanium, then 0 0.2, 0 0.3 is nothing mentioned, right? So guys, everything is mentioned here, but there is one confusion. Most of the time people do, what is this current? This is the terminal current. We call it the collector current. And this is the base current, okay? And guys, this is not my collector current. It means this current will be equal to IC plus IB. Listen carefully. This current will be equal to IC plus IB. Because if base current is coming here, it means base current is flowing through here also. Guys, clear? 
so obviously you know beta is 99 some student can do it in the approximation way beta is very high we can approximate ie is equal to ic so that is up to you right but when you're writing the conventional question be it very clear do the exact analysis so now guys there is one other tip which i want to share with you people while solving the circuit you need to follow that path to calculate the variable which include the minimum variable so if i start my journey from here to calculate my required variable and go it like this one and then go it like this one and then go it like this one and reach up to this point here i means we can apply kvl here in this loop because in this entire loop the only one variable is there that is rb only we know vcc i know ie if i know ie i can say this is one milliampere ultimately this ic plus ib is equal to ie na yeah i have told here is it clear so it means we can write the kvl equation the kvl equation will be the kvl equation will turns out to be 15 please check the calculation minus twice of k i can write inside it ie Okay, some student will try to approximate IE is equal to IC because beta is very high. That is the approximated answer. Better go for the exact analysis. Minus, drop across this, plus minus. This was the drop across this. And it will be IB multiplied by better you write RB. And minus 0.7, the on voltage of the transistor. And drop across this. I can write it minus 1 milliampere into 1 kilo ohm. So guys, this can be written as equal to zero. So if I start solving it, I will get 14.3, please check it, is equal to 3K inside of IE, don't skip the step in the conventional answer, plus IBRB. And if I'm doing this thing, I know already IE is given as 1 milliampere. So 14.3 is equal to 3 kilo into 1 milliampere is plus ib rb so from here guys what i can do i can conclude my relation is 14.3 is equal to you can see here the relation is equal to 3k into 1 milliampere this is 3k into 1 milliampere and plus ib multiplied by rb is it clear this all is the calculation so this milli and kilo will cancel i can write 14.3 is equal to 3 plus ib and multiplied by rb and since we can write it ib rb is equal to 11.3 is it clear so since we are supposed to calculate rb rb is equal to 11.3 upon ib and I have told you already, IE, again write the next step, we know, again write the next step, don't avoid the step, we know, IE is equal to beta plus 1 multiplied by the IB. So we can write from here, IB is equal to IE upon beta plus 1, it means I can write this equal to 1 milliampere upon 100. So if I am not wrong, I am putting it here, RB, I will be getting equal to 11.3 upon, instead of IB, 1 milliampere multiplied by 100, so I will end up getting around 1130 kilo ohm, the answer check it. So this is guys the exact analysis, so you need to follow the each one and every step out there while solving the question. So this was the conventional question being asked, okay, see, I, while doing the objective question, I can skip many of the step. But while writing the conventional question, you need to write in the proper way. Do it, please, right? Check it, please. Now, so this was your conventional question. So finally, you got your answer. So you can see, first, I make the statement. Now, see, if I say, what is this voltage to verify? I can verify in the beginning. Yes, it's in the forward active reason. What is this voltage? This will be 1 milli into 1k. So can I say V ammeter is equal to 1 volt? Yes or no? What will be this voltage? This voltage will be equal to this minus drop across this. This will be 15 minus 2k into 1 milliampere. 
so this is almost around 13 volt so vce is very much greater than 0.2 volt ultimately this is in the forward active mode it means what all relation i had used this relation this is applicable only in the forward active mode this is beta forward or this is beta active so for saturation this is with the beta force not with the beta active beta forward okay keep in mind so that is why you can see I had solved entire circuit with the help of the relation which are equally susceptible in the forward active mode. So guys like this you need to write the conventional question and there are so many stuff which are involved. You can see I started it from very basic. First of all all the relation involved. I simply make the notation for each and everything and I told already there are four regions of the transistor and this is acting in the forward active mode. Why? I just justified here. How we do the calculation then i got to know he is asking me rb i found this loop here and most of the student will commit here mistake they will consider it as a ic ic is the terminal current although beta is 19 and very high many students will approximate ic is equal to ie but don't do the approximation go exact analysis so like this you will be solving and you will end up getting the entire result and relation like this one so guys this is basically one descriptive question which were asked question number 9b so like this there are so many other questions from analog electronics, from signal system, from EMFT, EDC etc. So practice these questions and these questions are straight away taken from the reference book or standard textbook. So that's what, what I told you in the beginning also. If you want to practice in good way the descriptive paper do all the sold example of the standard reference book. Go for Sadrans with microelectronics. Most of the question you will find directly from that book. So that's it guys from this video. Thanks a lot. Wish you all the best for the exam.